Hello, I'm Erin Cox, the author of One Hot Mama, The Guide to Getting Your Mind and Body Back After Baby. For those of you who haven't been watching, what I'm doing is going through the book that I wrote, One Hot Mama, The Guide to Getting Your Mind and Body Back After Baby, and I'm actually using the steps to get my own mind and body back after having my son Kellen on April 5th. Ah, just got my kids to bed. I'm down here kind of relaxing and um, talking with all of you about week six, which is reviving relationships. And I think it is one of the most important chapters in the entire book. In fact, I'm thinking my next book might be all about reviving relationships after having a baby because there's nothing that rocked my marriage more than having babies. And we, had our, we have a great marriage. We had a really fantastic marriage before the first baby was born. And it really went through some ups and downs, I have to say, just because what happens is, you know, you're just used to taking care of yourself, taking care of your relationship. And then all of a sudden you throw a baby into the mix and it takes so much of your time and your energy. You know, you can't take care of yourself as well. So you're exhausted. You don't feel like giving anything to your husband. Your husband is looking at you like, oh my gosh, I've lost her. She's, she's never going to be the same again because we're so exhausted. We're doing so much. And I think it really scares guys. And I think we experience the whole newborn thing in quite different ways, you know, uh, so I just think reviving your relationship, it's time now. The baby hopefully is sleeping better. I know mine is sleeping pretty well these days and I actually have the energy to put back into my, into my marriage. But also my friendships, you will find that it is so much harder to get those phone calls in, to make those connections, you know, you're not getting out as much. So your friendships need to be nurtured as well. You know, I think about this story, it's really, it look, I look back at it now and it's hilarious, but at the time it was really horrible. One of my good friends who does not have children came to see me when my husband was deployed. I had two children at the time and my youngest, my middle child at that time was only four months old. And so I lived in a beach, beach town called Destin. It was beautiful. I actually lived in Niceville right over a bridge. And so she had heard about how beautiful this town was. She was super excited to come and have it like literally a spring break. And I was excited to see her, you know. I thought, gosh, how great Steve's gonna be gone. I'm gonna have a visitor. And she said, you know, I'd really like to go to the clubs. I'm like, great. In my mind, going to the clubs meant one night out of the club and then going out for dinner maybe one night. So I had babysitters lined up for two nights. And to me, that felt really like, like a lot. Uh, and then during the day, I didn't have any babysitters lined up. So when she came, she was really disappointed because she was expected to go spend it all day on the beach and then go all night at the club. And uh, she basically didn't exactly get the trip she was hoping for, you know, with little ones, the beach. At that time, my older daughter was two and a half, and, or she was three and a half. And going to the beach with her was not that much fun because you really had to be watching her. She would run right into the ocean. So, you know, we, we had a really tough time because our expectations were so different. I was focused on just wanting to be with her and trying to fit my kids in where she wanted to have this really fun trip where she was going to go clubbing and go to the beach. And at one point uh, I had to go, we were at a friend's condo that was right on the beach and I had to have the baby monitor. So I had to stay at the condo pool. Well, she met some guys and just left me and went by the beach all day and it really hurt my feelings. So we kind of ended up having this, this spat over this and you know, she's a dear friend. We have totally made up. We've talked about it. It's no big deal now. But if we had just talked about this up front and made expectations, uh, you know, things wouldn't have gone that way. So the moral of the story is, you know, your relationships change and your friends that don't have kids are so important to have because, you know, they're the ones who can go out with you at a moment's notice and they just want you to be who you are. You know, they don't want to hear too much about the baby. They want to hear a little because they do care about you and they do care about your babies, but that's not all they want to talk about. They want you. They want to go out and have those times you used to have. So you have to nurture those relationships still. And even the ones with your friends, you know, you have to try to get those times on the phone. Remember important days. It takes so much more effort when you're so much more busy. Uh, same thing goes with your marriage, you know. Basically all it is is putting in the effort to make time for just the two of you, whatever you have to do. And I'm a big believer in babysitters and I know not everybody is, but a babysitter is just, you know, it's an investment in your marriage. It might seem expensive to pay for a babysitter, go out for dinner, but it is so crucial. My husband and I actually are going golfing tomorrow morning, which I'm so excited for. It's kind of a daytime date. He took a Monday off. And so basically uh, our babysitter's gonna come at nine. We're gonna go grab coffee, go do nine holes, and then head home. It's like a perfect little morning date. 
and uh, I, I just can't wait. And we've gotten so much better at this. We, we know now, after baby number three, you know, that we have to reconnect. We've got to have that time with no children around just to be with each other. So, well, I want to talk to you a little bit about my progress. You know, here we are at week, or at week six. Uh, so at the, this is almost the end of week six and I have not weighed myself yet since right at the beginning and I have to tell you I'm a little nervous because I felt like I was losing weight really fast just by feeling and then all of a sudden today you know I'm wearing some of my regular jeans but I mean I feel like I'm just so thick still around the middle and I don't know so I'm gonna weigh myself tomorrow and I'll let you guys know how it goes next week but uh, you know it's slow going. I guess I am, how old am I? I'm almost 36 years old and um, it's after baby number three. It's, it's, it's definitely happening, just not as quickly as I'd like, of course. But um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me this week. You know, uh, just want to remind you to really put that effort into your relationships. Don't let yourself just get so consumed with the baby that you sort of let those other things go. It's easy to do. We all go through stages where that's what we have to do just to survive. But when you have a moment, call those friends that have been in your heart. Uh, email them. Send them a few pictures of the baby. But like I said, make sure you also get away with your friends and with your, your partner without the baby. 